hey y'all so in this video today i'm going to be showing y'all some of the dresses that i bought for give kids the world so give kids the world which is a non-profit organization which i've mentioned a couple times in kiss me florida was in need of children's dresses size eight and up and so me and my family took it upon ourselves to post on our facebook pages and ask basically for donations for give kids the world saying that we needed to buy princess dresses and just a whole bunch of girls dresses and a whole bunch of people came through, mainly our friends and family were the ones running. We had a lot of neighbors running as well, so with the money that we got, we were able to purchase over 75 Disney outfits, all brand new, that will go to the children at the Halloween parties, which they do every Monday night. At the Halloween parties, the families that are there, any kid that is 18 or under gets a costume and they get to keep that costume. That costume is brand new with tags each and every week. And so we wanted to make sure that there was enough costumes that way people who wanted to dress up and who came to the party were able to do so. So I'm just going to be showing y'all some of the dresses we bought. These were over at Cast Connection before we headed over to Magic Kingdom. So we got a ton of dresses here, but then you think it's a whole bunch and then we get to Sir Mickey's and we actually get even more dresses at Sir Mickey's. These are just super heavy and super big dresses so they take over a ton of room. So I want to talk a bit about Good Kiss the World for a moment. So Good Kiss the World is a 89 acre nonprofit storybook resort in Central Florida. Here children with critical illnesses and their families are treated to a week long cost free vacation. So it's basically make a wish in any wish organization that wants to send critically ill children who wish to experience the magic that is central florida they come and stay at kids of florida which is located in kidney florida and they get to have all their wishes come true so if they want to go to universal and disney and sea world whatever things that they want to go to they are able to visit and then each night there is a party from the first day that they arrive to the last day they are there and the parties are very festive there's christmas parties there's halloween parties there's princess parties and pirates of course and they're super fun so the village is such a magical place to just get to not think about the struggles at home you know these children are going through illnesses they're in the hospitals they're away from their family they aren't getting to experience the holidays and really what is being a child is all about having fun so they come here and they get to experience all the magic here for a week and it is just the most amazing thing i also do want to add that i am currently raising money for the 2022 over the edge forgive kids the world so my link to that is located down below in the comment section and in the main area so please make sure if you are very much interested in donating to give kids the world to click that link and donate every dollar matters don't think that the smallest donation doesn't matter because truly every single dollar goes such a far way and it is with your guys' money that the village is able to do all the amazing things that it does. So as y'all might be able to notice, I am at Sumiki and I'm at Magic Kingdom. Here I purchased the big bulk of my dresses, as you can see here. So obviously I had to get a ton of Tinkerbell dresses, as Tinkerbell is my favorite character. And the favorite princess though is Snow White. And they unfortunately didn't have any Snow White dresses above an extra school. And since I needed to do an technically 70 for the sizes. They didn't have any and I couldn't do that so unfortunately I didn't get any of the Snow White dresses. But I did get a bunch of Tinkerbell dresses and I was really happy with what we got. They are just totally the most darling dresses. You're not able to believe the deal we got on them so it's just something you can pass up and these guys can go for such a far away. So some of my favorite outfits that you'll see here are definitely obviously the Tinkerbell one and the Honor Elsa one. Those two are just so cute and the Little Mermaid one. I also love the quality of Belle and Rapunzel. They're all very amazing Disney quality, but these dresses are so, so magical. Honestly, I did go to the Halloween party because I volunteer there easily every week, uh, quite a few days a week actually. So it's not just like once a week, every week that I volunteer. It's two to three days a week that I volunteer. I could get the role and I was able to volunteer at the party this past Monday, so literally yesterday. And this was a couple days after. When we did this, we tried to see a whole bunch of the children get our costumes, and honestly, they were in love with the costumes. I actually, one of the first people I got to see that night, it was a little girl and a mom, and the mom comes up and she says, 
can't even use used costumes. I can't have my daughter in a used costume. I'm like, no, 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 these are all brand new. I know because I personally went and got the princess costumes. These are all brand new. And then she's like, yeah, look, then I'm gonna have to return it out with like my daughter's shirt. And I'm like, no, you know, get to put them in your costume. They all have their tags on and you actually get to keep them. And then she started crying. She was crying because she could not imagine how amazing this place was. She was like, you guys are the kindest people. She immediately wanted to hug me, but then of course, because of COVID, we are unable to do that. And she's like, sorry, sorry, sorry. And she was already staying super close to me. So she's like, sorry, and step, takes a step, steps back. But um, she was saying it cool. And this girl then went on to tell me that she had a terrible day. The little girl had a terrible day at Universal. And my mom was pulling me in. And she was telling me that. And so the dress she was saying meant so much to her. I went and picked up the dress. It's really meant a lot. It means a lot to somebody who's doing it because they want to dress up. They want to have fun and do some for the chance to do it. So I can say these costumes truly mean a lot to them. And so that was quite magical. And she looks so cute and adorable in her princess costume. They honestly fit so well. She has a mirror of costumes. I do not put that in there in case y'all are curious. So this took the cashier quite a bit of time. I want to add is it was um, not like a very great moment because when I was buying these costumes, obviously the first thought that goes into any Disney fan's mind is that they completely automatically 100% assume that you're a reseller, especially when you're buying as big a quantity as we did. This day we bought 54 princess costumes and so that was combined at Sir Mickey's and at Cast Connection, but um, they obviously, when you bring out 12 bags of clothes, but here it was seven bags of clothes, they honestly are going to think you're a reseller because you're carrying a whole bunch of princess dresses, and who needs 54 princess dresses? So at the end of the when we were checking out, you can see that there gets to be four cast members that are in the regular outfits, and you see two ladies and um, two boards, and then you see that in the video. so many people's lives and how much it means to so many different people and so i truly love this organization it's something that i've been supporting for quite a few years and i want to continue supporting them and volunteering with them for as long as possible so this is definitely something that i love and i'd love for y'all to donate below again so it's in my comment section and it's in the main description box and if you click the link over the edge literally any donation is comfortable to but obviously that didn't happen and so it's going to be quite magical and we're going to get a tour of the village and i will be posting that on my social media so my social media links are down below so if you guys want to check that out i will also highlight it to my story so if you're watching this in a past video don't think that it's missed and gone if you want to check it out make sure to check it out it will be a highlight on my stories so don't think that you're missing out on it and i will probably post a youtube video as well so here is the rest of our items if you didn't notice we kind of threw on more dresses because we realized that we were off on our count and we needed to go buy a whole bunch more so this is amazing in it so 
if you guys have any questions about give kids the world or donating or anything you guys want to know about that i am more than happy to answer any and all your questions you can comment down below or you can dm me on one of my social media platforms and i'd be more than happy to answer your guys's questions so since 1986 give kids the world has welcomed more than 176,000 families from all 50 states and 76 countries around the world and truly the village is made possible by the support of generous donors and community partners as well as thousands of passionate volunteers so i am so excited to be sharing this video and truly be showcasing the village more frequently on your social media channels and showing you guys a preview of what i'm talking about this weekend i have shown videos of 90 million lights which was amazing it was over 3 million lights that were donated by walt disney world so that was truly amazing and i volunteer there a couple times a week as well and honestly so many people were learning about the village that hadn't heard a single thing but they saw a social media post they saw someone that was sharing it, it was their sponsored link they saw a news ad or they saw it on the news or they just saw one of their friends say this is the most amazing thing you have to go and check this out i told so many of my friends and neighbors who fell in love with the village because of it so honestly they've done so much amazing things to spread awareness and i am trying to raise even more awareness for this village because truly it is just the most magical place
good place to go. Let me show you all just some of the dresses, and I'm headed to buy more. Here's all of my bags so far. So now we are on the memorial. Here is some of these purchases from Sir Mickey's at Magic Kingdom. So it's a ton of princess outfits and they are going to love them so much. So I just wanted to show you all a bit of what how insanity the bags are. So here I am at Give Kids the World. I am dropping off the princess dresses. This is 54 princess dresses in this haul. So I just want to show you all a bit of the video of dropping them off. So we had to go in and get a form saying we were dropping these off. And then here's just a little bit of round because I did volunteer right after I was doing the dropping the dresses off so here's just a sneak peek of the village just a tiny little bit so now we are back at sir mickey's for another round this is a couple days later but i went to put it all in one clip so i waited before editing the video all the way so we decided to go back and buy 24 more princess dresses so what we ended up grabbing was two of each other and some that we just thought would be the most popular they still didn't have snow white but i just wanted to show you all I hope you really truly enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and like for more if I get more donations and if I see that there's a huge interest in this. And if you guys want to donate, you can contact me on Instagram if you want to donate specifically for princess dresses or if I post need on Instagram and you guys are interested, just make sure to like and this video, subscribe and follow me on Instagram for when I post more of that or you can just donate via my over the edge account. I appreciate it. Please have a good day and subscribe. Thank you.